Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at some circle theorems. Our first circle theorem is about the angles in a semicircle. You can see that we've got a diameter drawn here across the centre of a circle and when we connect that up with a part on the outside we get a 90 degree angle. So we always get a right angle in a semicircle. I'll show you some examples here. So we've got a diameter drawn there. A diameter is a straight line through the centre of the circle from one side to the other. And when we make a uh, triangle inside the semicircle, we get a right angle. Same when we do it like this, another right angle. And when we do it like this, we get another right angle. You will always get a right angle there. That's the first circle theorem. The next one. Two tangents drawn from the same point are equal length. So we've got one tangent drawn here and another tangent drawn there. Tangents are just lines that only touch the circle once. So you can see this line here just touches it once here. Absolutely skims the edge of the circle. That's a perfect tangent. Now the length from the point to where it touches the circle is the same for both of these lines. This distance is exactly the same. So two tangents drawn from the same point are equal length. Okay. Now, uh, this one here, we've got an angle in the center of a circle and we've got an angle on the outside. An angle in the center of a circle and an angle on the outside. What do you notice about these two angles? Yes, they are double. Uh, so the one on the inside is double the one on the outside. And this is called the arrowhead theorem because sometimes it looks something like the arrowhead. And so I'll show you this here. We've got an angle on the outside is x, then the angle inside is double that 2x. Okay. It doesn't always look like an arrowhead, sometimes it's drawn slanted like this. So you just have to be uh, careful here. And this point here has to be the exact centre of the circle. Now, um, we've got this one here. And you'll see that these two angles are the same, and these two angles are the same. So the angles in the same segment are equal. Uh, so that just means that if you've got two points here and here, and you connect them to a point on the outside of a circle, they will always form the same angle. So these two points, um, if you connect them to the outside of the circle, they will always find the same angle. Let's see this in action. So we've got uh, one angle there, another angle there, and another angle there, and another angle there. All these green angles are the same. Okay? Because they all come off the same two points here. Now, we have the alternate segment theorem. And this says that if you've got a tangent and a triangle inside a circle coming off that tangent, the angle from here is the same as the angle on the opposite side, or opposite uh, corner of the triangle, and the angle here is on the opposite corner of the triangle. Similarly, over here, we've got the 42 degrees here and the 42 degrees over here, the 101 degrees here and the 101 degrees here. And this is called the alternate segment theorem. So we have a tangent and we have a triangle drawn inside. These two green angles will be the same and these two red angles will be the same. With these circle theorems, you just have to get used to seeing them and see the patterns that come from them. So you should always see the pattern of when you've got a triangle touching a tangent, uh, you should see which two angles line up. Got another example here, the green and the green are the same, the red and the red are the same. The red and the red are the same, the green and the green are the same. Now we've got the cyclic quadrilaterals. These are quadrilaterals, four-sided shapes, um, that are 
inside of a circle where all the corners are touching uh, the edge of the circle. Can you see a pattern? We've got 80 and 100, 130 and 50. Yes, the opposite corners always add up to 180. Similarly, uh, this corner and this corner will add up to 180, this corner and this corner will add, to, add up to 180. So opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral sum to 180 degrees. Sum just means add up to. So here we are, the red and the red add up to 180, the green and the green add up to 180. Red and red, 180, green and green, 180. And again, green and green, red and red, 180. Okay. Now I've got some practice questions for you here. Uh, they're not too difficult. And it's just about seeing if you can remember all of the rules in this video. Uh, so pause the video now and see if you can figure out what these angles are. When you're ready, I'm going to reveal the answers in three, two, one. Okay, this one will be a right angle because it's inside of a semicircle. This one will be 60 because the angle at the outside is half the angle at the inside. These two angles are the same uh, because angles in the same segment are equal. Here, this is the alternate segment theorem because these two angles are the same. And these two will add up to 180 because angles in a cyclic quadrilateral, opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral, add up to 180. What I would re uh, recommend for this video is making a poster of all of these. So go get yourself uh, a uh, compass and a ruler and draw and some nice coloured pens and draw a nice big poster of all of these rules. Uh, so you can re remember them all. Okay. Thank you for watching today's video with Advanced Maths. If you enjoyed, uh, you remember to subscribe for more videos. And if you have any recommendations for future videos, I'd love to hear them. Just email me or comment. Thank you for watching. Good luck in your exams. And bye for now.